Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Starting out the week, beautiful during the day, a little bumpy going into the night, but yes. you said it's all going to be short-lived. It is short-lived, so okay. we are going to have mostly rain for much of the day tomorrow, but after that, it's sunshine, yes. sweet sunshine. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> all right, thank you, Grace. <laughs> all right, take a look at 31 Triple Doppler right now. Plenty of rain in the state of Alabama, even some of that in northeast Mississippi that is heading our way. But in the direct Tennessee Valley right now, we're mostly dry. However, we do have more cloud cover coming into the mix. Let's talk about northeast East Mississippi and what we can expect there. 4:47 p.m. on your Monday. And this is a line of storms that, as you can see, has some lightning associated with it that's tracking north and east towards Hamilton and Red, Red Bay that will bring some scattered storms to the shoals a little bit later on today. That system we've been tracking in Fayetteville had a little bit of lightning with it just a few minutes ago, but this is tracking north and east of Boonesville, and that'll get out of our counties before too long and head farther north as it weakens. The Way 31 Sky Camera network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction is showing more and more cloud cover in the mix, but conditions are dry and hey, we'll take it. Temperatures right now hanging out in the low 80s for almost all of us, but Gunnersville, you're just a little bit cooler at 73 degrees. However, significantly more humid in Marshall County as well. As we head through dinner time tonight, we'll see those rain and storm chances increase and those temperatures, of course, decrease as the sun sets 71 degrees at 8 p.m. And at that point, it will be mostly the shoals that's seeing the storms, but there will be plenty of stormy activity in that area. Let's walk through what you can expect on future radar. So this is 430 just a few minutes ago. What we were seeing in that area. Fast forward to six o'clock and those storms in northeast Mississippi are now starting to populate west of the I-65 corridor. We'll see those strengthen and bring gusty winds and periods of torrential downpours just around dinner time and shortly thereafter. But here's the thing. This part of our system is short lived. That scoots out of the way and heads west. What we encounter next, though, is some rain and storms developing in our south and eastern counties east of I-59 right around the turn of the night. And those are going to stay with us into Tuesday morning, meaning that it's not quite the last day of school yet. So as you're getting the kiddos out the door to the bus stop, pack an umbrella and a rain jacket with them. 64 degrees, so we'll be mild from a temperature standpoint, but soggy from a precipitation standpoint. We'll keep those rain chances with us all throughout the day on Tuesday. The heaviest of the rain that we're going to see is in the morning and in the afternoon, but we won't be completely dry in the valley until we head later towards dinner time. 76 degrees for your high temperature, which is a good eight degrees below average for this time of year. So let's talk about that system on Tuesday. Again, it develops in our southeastern counties, but it gradually pushes north. And by the time we wake up at seven o'clock on Tuesday, it's widespread rain and a few embedded thunderstorms for all of us. Now, this system is not severe, but it is going to bring some torrential downpour. So you should prep for a day of rain and maybe a baseball hat hair day for the ladies. We'll see that rain start to diminish just after lunchtime, but like we talked about, it's not completely out of our system until closer to dinner time. The good news is, though, this is one of our only full days of rain in the 10 day forecast. The trash pandas are in town this week, and that certainly is a plus for them. Sunshine Wednesday and Thursday, afternoon rain on Friday and Saturday, but neither day is an all out washout. Sunday and then heading into much of their next work week, we do have mostly sunny conditions. Those temperatures are on the rise. Sunday, a high temperature of 80. Wednesday and Thursday, we're flirting with 90. The unofficial start to summer looking pretty good. <laughs> I am not ready for it, though. I don't want the 90s yet. I I'm not there. A nice little break. We had that humid and storms mm -hmm. and, and everything, humidity and storms. This week should be perfect. Taste. Okay, we'll look ahead. <laughs>